All right, we are ready for our first art criticism. Um, I've split my screen so that on one half of the screen I have the Schoology assignment up and on the other half I have the document that actually gets open for you when you click my document. I have it says in progress and submissions because I'm in the teacher version. But the student version right up here it'll say my document. When you click that you will see the stuff that is on the right hand side of my screen. Um, so this art criticism is based on this artwork right down here. Okay, a lot of crazy words to pronounce. It is an architectural capriccio, which is a painting with a fantasy or mix of fantasy and real features. So there is real and fantastical architecture in this painting. Um, and so there's that with Jephtha, that's his name, and his daughter. And I'll explain a little bit more about who those people are as we get farther into this. Um, but so that's the title, architectural Capriccio with Jephtha and his daughter. Say that 10 times fast. Uh, that's going to go right up here in this title section. If you double click over here, or even just click once, I think, it will pop up a text box that you can then type into and add the title there. Um, coming down, you know, entering down. You can type the artist. The artist for this one is listed right down here. It is Derek Van Dellen. Um, so you can add him. And then the date was in 1633, just a couple days ago. Um, so while you are typing those things in, go ahead and pause me. And when you are ready to move on to the next section, go ahead and unpause me. All right, we are ready for the describe section. Um, this is where you are going to list out five different things that you see in this picture. You don't have to do complete sentences. It's just bullets and points. This, 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 and this. Um, you can double click this box again, you know, and then, oops, not that one. Let's go after describe. Now you can start, you know, typing in this however you would like. Um, I'm not going to do it because it'll mess up my display version, but you are going to go through and list these things again while you are typing all of that stuff in. Go ahead and pause me. And when you are done typing those five objects or items that you see in this painting, go ahead and unpause me and we can move on to the analyze section. Okay, for the analyze section, we are going to look at the art elements form and space. So we have a um, pretty complex, honestly, architectural design on this paper, uh, or in this painting, I should say, that has a very deep form of space as well as um, several different types of forms. I don't really want to focus so much on the forms. I'm more interested in the space. So I'm only going to have you guys write a sentence about the space. But what I want you to do is tell me what objects are in the foreground, what objects are in the middle ground, and what objects are in the background. Um, so that I know that you understand the different areas of space in this picture. So it's going to be one to three sentences. You can combine it all in one big sentence, or you can do each of those areas as its own sentence. But go ahead and add that into the analyze box and pause me while you are typing. When you are done typing, go ahead and unpause me for the interpret section. Okay, so for the interpret, I need to give you a little bit of background. Now this painting is kind of confusing because it is painted with the people wearing styles of clothing that are contemporary to the 1630s. So the artist was drawing what people looked like around then. He was drawing architecture that references both contemporary as well as ancient architecture. And the thing that he is depicting is actually a biblical story from the Old Testament. So Jephthah and his daughter are from a biblical story in the book of Judges. And it basically boils down to Jephthah wanted to win this war that he was fighting. And so he made a vow to sacrifice the first thing that came out of his house um, when he returned home. The first thing that came out of his house was his only daughter. Um, and so he killed her. 
Not a super happy story. Um, however, that's the story that is happening behind this picture. So what I want you to do is try to identify the different parts of that. So who in this picture do you think is Jephthah? Who do you think is his daughter? And what about them made you think that? So who connects with that story that is being told in this picture? Uh, while you're typing that out, go ahead and pause me and then unpause me when you are ready for the judgment section. All right, and for the judgment section, we're just saying, is this or is this not successful? However, we are going to judge it based on a type of aesthetic theory. Aesthetics just means um, how the look of a thing, like how um, you judge a visual beauty. Um, and there's three aesthetic theories that we're going to look at. The first one, imitationalism. So does it look like real life? Does it imitate the world around you in an accurate fashion? If it does, then it would be art. If it does not, then it is not art. The second type is formalism. If it uses the elements and principles and techniques of art well, then it is a good piece of artwork. It doesn't matter if it doesn't have a subject or if it doesn't have a realistic viewpoint. Um, if it doesn't use the art and technique or the art elements and technique well, then it wouldn't be successful for that theory. And the last one is emotional. And that says that if the artwork evokes an emotional response from the viewer, then it's successful or not successful if it doesn't evoke one. Um, you need to pick one of those three theories. So imitationalism, emotionalism, or, um, Wait, I just skipped one. Imitationalism, formalism, or emotionalism. Sorry about that. Um, I'm going to put up a slide that shows you the three definitions. Go ahead and pause me, and then you're going to write your sentence. When you're done with that, you can click, click, ooh, you can click the submit button at the top of the Schoology page. Okay, so this is a slide. Uh, go ahead and pick one of those theories. Tell me the theory, and then tell me why or why not it is successful, or why or why, ooh why it is or is not successful based on that theory.